Welcome to Vision Academy. This is the fifth lecture in the series of lecturing on SPSS software. So here I am giving a hands-on training on how to prepare crops and uh, statistics and data entry in SPSS. So today I will uh, give you hands-on training on descriptive statistics, computation of descriptive statistics and interpretation of the statistics. So for that we need to open data. Data, the data must be ready that you have uh, you are already entered earlier so the data i am selecting open the data so data now open it so now you have two ways to calculate descriptive statistics in spaces so whatever the statistics you are going to calculate in spaces you must start with uh, analyze only so in the analyze where there are various types of uh, uh, statistics are there so based on your requirement based on your variable based on your uh, the statistics the data permittability and so many other things you will calculate the statistics here uh, there are two ways as i said you already one is uh, the to calculate descriptive statistics you should go to analyze in the analyze descriptive statistics in that there are two icons called frequency and descriptives in both icon also you can calculate st uh, descriptive statistics so i will go to descriptive statistics Firstly, you need to move some uh, variable uh, to be considered for uh, calculation, computation. So, I will move total asset of ICIC Bank uh, for uh, some period. We have made a survey on uh, this ratio analysis for the, the, the data I am selecting. So, after selecting that, click here options. In the options, there are look at here there are uh, some statistics like mean sum standard deviation variance range minimum maximum standard error and kurtosis skewness and so many things uh, as per your wish you have to select the statistics here i will select minimum maximum and range sum standard deviation once you select that give continue so after continue give okay now your statistics is ready. So this is the descriptive statistics of total assets of ICICI Bank for the period of 2011, 12 to 15, 16. So here you can look at this. There are five years period of a timeline uh, in my studies, five years. So total sample is five. And the, uh, this is a range, minimum, maximum, sum, mean and standard deviation that we selected okay so we can also select uh, calculate uh, that uh, descriptive statistics in one more icon as i said you i will go through that so look at here analyze descriptive statistics frequency here that is more informative than the analyze descriptive and descriptive i would love to prefer free uh, in the frequency because we will have much more option in that so again I, uh, I want to select the uh, variable on which I am going to select uh, calculate the total asset of ICIC bank I, I selected again so after this click statistics so here look at this there are uh, uh, in the descriptive statistics there are four category here central tendency percentile in that percentile quartiles percentiles and central tendency mean median mode and sum in the distribution skewness kurtosis in the spread it means dispersion standard deviation variance range standard error maximum and minimum so as per your requirement you will have to select i would love to select mean median mode sum and in the dispersion standard deviation minimum maximum and range variance and standard deviation both are same you will see the square root of standard deviation for variance so after selecting so click continue so here one more thing you should consider if you want frequency table you will select this otherwise if you do not want frequency table you will deselect this if you select this you will get frequency table along with the respective statistics this is the output we received for the statistics we calculated so i will uh, select the, this co copy this output and uh, paste in the word format to 
compare with the particular uh, value variables we uh, selected for the study so this is the total assets of icic bank during 2011 and 12 to 2015 and 16 so total assets uh, for the respected years uh, are here and uh, five years are considered for the study so here the statistics and uh, n is five five years number of n and n sample and mean after adding all this uh, for your kind of information these data are in the crores rupees are in crores mean of after add, adding all this and average of this data is 5,97,465 so mean the central uh, value so the central tendency of the total assets for the given uh, year is 5,97,465 and median midpoint midpoint of this data is 5,94,641 look at this this is a midpoint in the sense it is not mid year the way in the value it is a midpoint okay and standard deviation standard deviation means the deviation taken by the data from mean from the mean so from all this data increase and decrease the spread from the mean the spread from the mean is 90,819 rupees 19 it means from 5,97,465 to 90,819 it is a huge spread there is no consistency as far as possible standard deviation must be lesser than mean so then only there will be more consistency the otherwise there is no consistency so in this case we can interpret the assets uh, in the total assets of ICIC bank is, uh, is not consistent so it is a spread spread over and uh, we can also see the range so if, uh, for range we will calculate maximum minimum maximum minus minimum so re maximum in this uh, data set is last year 2015 and 16 that is 7,20,619 20, so that uh, 95 that is maximum here and minimum in this data set is this 4,89,680 that is a minimum and range maximum minus minimum is a range range it is also indicate spread of the data look at here in the year 2011 and 12 ICIC bank total asset was 4,89,680 80, 80 crores whereas in the in the duration of uh, 5 years life span its data increased to 7,20,690 so range 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 is 2,31,629 it means the ICICI bank total assets is increased considerably so increased considerably that is why standard deviation also 90,890 and sum total of all the years the uh, total assets for the 5 years is 2 crore 98 lakh 7,329 7, so this is a total sum of the value of the ICICI bank total assets. So this is how we will interpret data, uh, the meaningful interpretation I have given after analyzing data through SPSS software. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to my Vision Academy YouTube channel for further more informative, useful videos on SPSS. Thank you so much.